Have a nice day. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'll be discussing to you about finding the quadratic equation given the roots. And of course, after watching this video, you will be able to find the quadratic equation with the given roots. This is a grade 9 lesson for week 2 in the first quarter. The formula in finding the quadratic equation given the roots is x squared minus the quantity sum of roots times x plus the quantity of product of roots equals 0. Now let's consider the first example. Find the quadratic equation if the roots are 4 and negative 7. We have to write the formula. So we have our guide. Next, we have to substitute. Copy x squared. So we have to find the sum of the roots. So our roots are 4 plus negative 7. Then you copy x. Then for the product of the roots, we have to multiply. So 4 times negative 7 equals 0. Let's simplify. Copy x squared. Copy the minus sign. Then you add 4 plus negative 7. That is equal to negative 3 times x. So we have negative 3x. We copy the plus sign. Multiply 4 times negative 7. That is equal to negative 28 equals 0. Let's simplify further. We have to remove the grouping symbols. So copy x squared minus negative 3x. That becomes positive 3x plus negative 28, that becomes negative 28. So, the quadratic equation is x squared plus 3x minus 28 equals 0. Now, let's have the second example. Find the quadratic equation if the roots are negative 5 and 8. Same with example number 1, we have to write the general equation in finding the equation given the roots. Next, we have copy x squared, copy the minus sign, add the two roots. So we have quantity of negative 5 plus 8 times x plus multiply the two roots. Negative 5 times 8 equals 0. Let's simplify. Copy x squared, copy the minus sign. So negative 5 plus 8 is 3 times x. So we have 3x. Then you copy the plus sign. Multiply negative 5 times 8. That is negative 40. Bring down 0. Now let's remove the grouping symbols. So we have x squared minus 3x minus 40 equals 0. And this is now the quadratic equation in standard form. Now let's have the third example. Find the quadratic equation if the roots are negative 1 and 3 halves. Same with the previous example. We are going to write the general equation. And then you copy x squared. You copy the minus sign. You add the two roots. So the two roots are negative 1 plus 3 halves times x plus you multiply the two roots, so negative 1 times 3 halves, then you copy equals 0. Let's simplify. So copy x squared. You copy the minus sign. Negative 1 plus 3 halves, the answer is 1 half times x, so we have 1 half x. Negative 1 times 3, the answer is negative 3. Just copy the denominator of the fraction too. So we have negative 3 halves equals 0. Let me show to you the detailed solution in finding the sum between negative 1 and 3 halves. We are adding an integer and a fraction. Since the fraction is in the lowest term, just copy the denominator of the fraction 2 and then you multiply negative 1 times 2. The answer is negative 2 and copy the numerator of the fraction 3. 
add negative 2 plus 3, that is equal to 1, and the denominator 2 just copy. So we have here 1 half as the sum between negative 1 and 3 halves. After that, we are going to multiply both sides of the equation by 2. Since our linear term and constant term have a denominator of 2. So, once we multiply this, apply the distributive property of multiplication. So, we have 2 times x squared. The answer is 2x squared. And 2 times negative 1 half x. The answer is negative x. 2 times negative 3 halves. The answer is negative 3. And of course, 0 times 2. The answer is 0. So, we have now our quadratic equation. 2x squared minus x minus 3 equals 0. Let's have the fourth example. Find the quadratic equation if the roots are 2 third and 1 half. If you have observed, the two roots are fractions. Same with example numbers 1 to 3. We have to write the equation in finding the equation of quadratic given the roots. Next, we have to copy x squared, you copy the minus sign, you add the two roots, 2 third plus 1 half times x plus multiply the two roots, 2 third times 1 half equals 0. So we have here x squared minus 2 third plus 1 half is 7 over 6 times x, so we have 7 over 6x. 2 third times 1 half, the answer is 1 third. Why we have 1 third? We can cancel out 2 and 2, that is already 1. So in our numerator, we have only 1 times 1, the answer is 1. And for our denominator, we have 3 times 1, the answer is 3. Now, let me show to you the detailed solution, how we come up with 7 over 6 as the sum of 2 third and 1 half. So, this time, we have the similar fractions. So, we're going to look for the least common denominator. Now, remember that if the two fractions are in the simplest form and the denominator of the fractions are all prime numbers. We can easily determine the least common denominator by multiplying the prime numbers in the denominator. So we have 3 times 2, the answer is 6. Next, we can do cross multiplication since the two fractions are in the lowest term. So we have 2 times 2, the answer is 4. Add 3 times 1, the answer is 3. Add 4 plus 3, that is equal to 7. Copy the denominator, 6. So we have 7 over 6. What if we're not going to cross multiply? Same, we come up with the same answer. 6 is the least common denominator. So 6 divided by 3, that is equal to 2. And 2 times 2, that is also equal to 4. Plus 6 divided by 2, that is equal to 3. And 3 times 1, that is equal to 3. 4 plus 3, that is also equal to 7. So either of the two ways, but I suggest you use the shorter method. So... We have now to multiply both sides of the equation by 6. Why 6? Because 6 is the least common denominator. So 6 times x squared, the answer is 6x squared. And 6 times negative 7 over 6x, the answer is negative 7x. And 6 times 1 third, the answer is positive 2. 0 times 6, of course, is equal to 0. So this is now our 
quadratic equation in standard form. 6x squared minus 7x plus 2. Hopefully you learned something and before I end, let me share to you one of my favorite verses in the Bible. Whoso loveth instruction, loveth knowledge, but he that hateth reproof is brutish. Proverbs 12 verse 1. Thank you so much for watching guys. Please do like or comment if you learn something and have questions regarding the video. Kindly share it to other students for them to learn or master the lesson, especially to the grade 9 students. Don't forget to subscribe to be updated for more math lesson videos and turn on the bell for notifications. That's all for today and God bless.